family if you're a returning subscriber welcome back um i missed you guys so much um it's been a little bit but i'm back you know i've been sick since sunday sunday was it sunday was the last time i went to work before yesterday yesterday was thursday today's friday the um it's memorial day weekend i already told y'all i was going to vlog you know like these events and stuff just to show y'all the motion how it goes at work everything whatever whatever so this is going to be the first official day of my vlog i recorded some content that i was supposed to start my vlog off with but i honestly didn't want to do it like that i'm like you know what i was sick i had my bonnet on i just feel like when somebody clicks a video on youtube the first couple of scenes they don't need to see you in your freaking bonnet like no anyway before i even talk to y'all too much make sure y'all like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell put your post notifications on so y'all know every time i post okay thank you so anyways you guys i have not been to work since sunday i went to work yesterday which was thursday today's friday um yesterday was okay i pretty much broke even like i made back exactly what i had spent on tip out and what i spent on uber to go to work so I broke even it wasn't really nothing crazy going on um some people did was making money yesterday I think I just was not fast enough I think that's what it really was I don't know if it was that or I don't know what it was but it was a little it was a little weird and keep in mind that was my first day back so I'm happy that I at least even broke even because honestly sometimes you really don't even break even you just take an l so i'm happy that i didn't take an l only l i really took was wasting my fucking energy so today i'm gonna go to work hopefully today's gonna be good today's gonna be a great day um that's really it i'm gonna see you guys when i get back in the house or probably in the afternoon tomorrow when i'm getting ready for work again because when i come in the house i'll be very 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 tired and as y'all can see it's still light outside i'm trying to get to this club before eight o'clock at least because i know that they're going to be raising these prices so high for girls to work and everything because of the more they weekend celebration out of towners coming all the shit coming so i know these clubs is going to be jacking their prices up crazy which is so stupid because it ain't even been no money like that for these clubs to be doing dumb shit like that but whatever anywho let me get up out of here i have something to tell you guys um i didn't know if i wanted to tell you now because i didn't want to start thinking about it before i went to work but um something really bad happened um, a couple days ago and my house got wrecked um i've been in a kind of a bad place because of that and you know I, I i feel better today and i'm like you know what all i gotta do is just replace things and yes if you're wondering it does correlate to that story time with the geo situation that i had told y'all last video about me getting arrested or whatever this is something new that happened it's something fresh that just took place um it's just unfortunate and i'm really trying to be strong and i'm really trying to get through this because this is something I can't even say it's domestic violence because it's not a physical thing like but i feel like so out of place like i feel like this is really a form of abuse um a form of blackmail like i don't know how to really describe it but i just been going through the absolute worst when it comes to my personal life um yeah it's just too much and i'm really trying to get it together because 
the month of june i'm not trying to have my feelings all over the place i'm not trying to be dealing with no toxic weird ass shit like i'm not doing that anymore like this shit is not me like when, like i feel so out of place because when i'm talking about i'm a very private person and it's like with all of this shit happening to me being the fact that i've never been through this before it's really hard to be a private person at a time like that because it's like okay i gotta tell somebody about this i gotta i gotta vent to somebody i gotta tell somebody something like i gotta get this shit off my chest so lately i haven't even felt like i've been that private person and i like being a private person i don't like to have people in my business like i don't like it at all like it's to the point like people that know me are seeing each other and talking about me like oh um this is like it's just so weird to me like this is like the weirdest shit i've ever been through i'm not even from out here so people out here don't even be my day ones to even know my business like that it's just that i feel so like alone because it's like my friends my family's not out here and i've been dealing with this toxic ass situation that is over but it's like you know like i feel like some people want to make sure you crash out before things are over and i'm here to say that that's not gonna happen to me i'm a get in my bag i'm gonna work it's gonna be a successful rest of the year june is that that marks the second quarter and best believe it i'm ending that second quarter from june to fucking december strong i don't give a fuck if i gotta work overtime if i gotta work more if i, I don't give a damn i'm about to switch it up like shit got something gotta give because it's really too much going on y'all anyway i don't even want to get too much into that while i'm um, about to go to work. I'm going to talk to y'all about that when I get home. I love y'all so much. I'm going to see y'all when I get back from work. Hey, you guys. What's up? It's like two days later because the last time I seen you guys was Friday. Today's Monday. Um, today's Memorial Day. I wanted to check in with y'all to tell y'all how my weekend went. Um... Honestly, y'all, I did not really have a good weekend. Um, I don't even want to, like, do my vlogs based on club success, nightlife success right now because the slow season is about to come. And I don't know if it's that I'm not in the right headspace or I got so much going on. I cannot focus on chasing a bag. Like, because when I'm at work, like, my mind just be thinking about other stuff. Like, I got a lot of shit on mine. I got a lot of shit on my plate. Um, it's just a lot and it's really dawning on me, like especially right now because I gotta figure out how am I gonna be a successful independent person going forward in my life. And I just be thinking about that, like something about thinking about your success in life just makes you really, really like think hard and it really mind fucks you. And like, you could be just overthinking so much. Like, everything in my life right now is so new to me. The way I feel, um, I feel like the way I even look, like everything is just, it's a lot. Like, and I'm gonna talk to y'all about it. Not this video, but definitely the next video. Yeah, definitely the next video. You know, like y'all gonna figure out, y'all gonna find out like what I really wanna tell y'all about something that I've been going through that I've really been just keeping to myself and amongst just my everyday close friends that I speak to or whatever the case may be. Today is, I don't want to say it's a down day for me because yes, I've been woke up hours ago, but my day really starts when I go to work. Like my, that's what determines my day really. But you know, I'm happy for good health, happy to be alive. Happy not be sick no more. Happy to be able to get out of the bed because getting out your bed every day is really a luxury, guys. Because but since Monday, I was not able to really get out of my bed like that all the way till Thursday. So even just to get out of the bed is a luxury. You got to thank God for that. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to go to work. Um, I got my bag packed. Um, I don't know how much money these people going to call me. Arm and leg all fucking weekend. Like yesterday, I paid the club um, two hundred fifty dollars. The day before that, I paid two hundred. Day before that, I paid one fifty. Like it's just, it's just that shit is a bill in itself. Like 
if you work seven days a week and every day you spend like you like you really this is crazy anyway let me pull my uber and get out of here i'm not trying to be down i'm just trying to go make myself some money i got my panties washing in the dryer let me go get those um i'm gonna see you guys in a few hopefully i was supposed to get some press ones today but i didn't even have time to go to walgreens nothing anyway i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow bye you guys hey guys what's up it's the next day what is popping ten? kk come say hi her usual me and my baby here she my helper today. Anyways, y'all, y'all know I didn't cook it mad long. I'm about to make spaghetti. Look at me, y'all. As soon as I got my new water bottle, I've been drinking my water, drinking my water. I gotta clean the stove with the stove. Hold on. Kayla, can you bring me the um, hand soap? I just wanna wash my hands before I start cooking. Anyways, guys, last night I went to work and I'm not even gonna hold y'all, it was really a good night. To me, like, it was a break type of night. From the way, here, okay, let's take it back. From the way the um, night started, I really didn't think that I was going to make the money that I made. I was really happy about it because this weekend is, is been Memorial Day weekend. Yesterday was actually Memorial Day. Um, happy Memorial Day, happy late Memorial Day. If I didn't say it in the last clip. Um, anyway, like I was saying, Yesterday was Memorial Day and I um I really didn't think that it was gonna hit because the whole Memorial Day weekend really just did not hit. Kayla, I need a roll of um paper towel. I need a roll of paper towel. So the whole Memorial Day week or whatever, like it really didn't hit. So I mean weekend it really didn't hit the way I thought it was gonna hit. You know what? Like, I thought like from Thursday to Monday, like I thought I would have at least racked up like at least 5,000. Um, but you know, like, it's always another celebration. We got 4th of July coming up. Um, there's a lot of shit coming up, like, so it's gonna be other times for me to make my goal for me to really just put that money up and whatever. Thank you, Kate. You could put it on the thing and just clean up that the little crumbs. So anyway, it's, it's gonna be other times for me to really, like, wrap up the money that I need to rack up. Um, today I was supposed to get my hair done, but I'm not gonna lie y'all, like, I feel like I really went into a deep, and I'm sorry that I'm cleaning and I'm moving all around, because when I cook, I have, my kitchen gotta be spotless. Like, I can't cook if my kitchen is um, dirty or it stains anywhere, because like, if any of the food gets, gets on the counter or something, I pick it back up, put it in my pot, so I cannot have a dirty counter when I when I cook, like I don't even play like that. But um, anyways, as I was saying, damn, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, today I was supposed to get, I was supposed to go to work early, actually, and I was supposed to buy a wig, and I'm supposed to be doing a wig review because I'm doing, uh, I'm starting to do hair videos again, like affordable wig places in Miami, or you know, affordable wigs, whatever the case may be, for the girls. Um, I ended up not even going because I was so tired, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I've been really like, I've been really tired on a different level. Like, I've been working since Thursday. It's Tuesday now, and I'm going to work tonight. Cause I'm like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, y'all, I gotta get me some money. I like, I real deal gotta keep getting me some money. Like, even if today is gonna be a late night, and like I'm gonna go to work late, cause clearly I can't, I can't do the early vibes, like. I'm just really past that point in my nightlife career, like, I want to work hella early. I just be tired, like, I really do. Um, y'all see me make, why is this green? These fruits, I feel like they're so processed and just so weird. Um, like the juice, that's weird. Anyways, y'all, y'all see me make spaghetti a thousand times. I got my green pepper, I just cut it. I got some smoked sausages. Um, I got the ragu. I got my tomato paste, I got my thyme, I got rosemary, but I'm not gonna use my rosemary for this spaghetti. I'm just gonna use my thyme. I just wanted to get rosemary just to really have it because I am 
gonna be cooking again because I really have to put on at least 10 or 15 more pounds um, before my birthday and my birthday is in July, July 14th. So I gotta get in my bag with that. And y'all know, got my two packs of spaghetti. I don't know if I'm gonna make one pack or two packs. Um, that's what I'm really trying to company right now. And those of you that know, I make my spaghetti. I boil it. I boil it in a pan. That's kind of my little style that I cook it. Um, let me get my Maggie. I'm about to just be cooking up a storm. Um, I'm gonna see you guys when I. I'm trying to see if anything happened juicy that I want to tell y'all. Nothing really happened. Like yesterday was really just a good ass night. Like it was just a good night. Good people. Good vibes. Like, I laughed. I had a lot of fun. People was not being really cheap. Like, it was just really a vibe. Like, it was really a vibe compared to the shit I went through this weekend. Like, I feel like I was really in a daze. Like, it's like I wanted to get the money, but I was just really slow. And I was really just not really in my element. But I really did. At, at the end of it all, I did try really hard. This weekend, I guess, this is probably wasn't my weekend. I don't know, but y'all yeah, know yesterday marks the start of a new week for me, so it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Like, oh, why is this shit coming out like that? Anyway, y'all, um, I'm about to shut it up. So, so I'm about to shut it up. I mean, I'm gonna add none of that in there. I just gotta keep my Maggie. I can't fucking reach. Y'all, let me tell y'all about this new spice that I've been using since my old crib. It's called uh, the Mojo Rub Citrus Blend Twain. Like, y'all see this? It gives y'all food that extra twain. You can't really use a lot of it though, because it'll, it'll fuck up the vibe. Oh, no, I got my tomato paste. I didn't even tell y'all that. Because that's what I mainly use when I make spaghetti anyway. But yeah, y'all, um, that shit really give your food a twang. Like, it give it a real good, um, it give it a real good little twist, a zesty kind of, kind of taste. Anyways, I'm cutting my onions and my green pepper. Um, I just so happy to be cooking again. Because really, I have not been in cooking food. I've been... Just really going through mad shit and just trying to work my ass off. So, haven't really had the time to cook. That's enough ranting. Do some green onion too. I love having my peppers in here. Like peppers. I'm just a pepper kind of girl. Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all in a bit. Um, I'm gonna show you my food when I'm done cooking and then I'm gonna see y'all before I go to work. I'm finished making my spaghetti. I wanna show y'all. Voila, look at, ooh, I don't need it all about the place. But look at my spaghetti, guys. And I'm making some drinks. Not even just some drinks, I'm just using a fancy cup. I'm using my mimosa glasses for these drinks, okay? Okay, guys, look how cute this looks. I'm so big on presentation. Can we put this in the um, fridge? Anyways, y'all, I'm about to tear this food up. Um, I'm gonna see y'all in a second. Yo, where's the forks? Hi, guys. I look crazy. I got my hair out, but I'm about to put my hair up because I'm about to cook. I'm cooking every day again. I got no pants on, that's why the angle is crazy the camera is up there because because um yeah i can't see my booty okay okay put this in the thing for me today is another yeah put these two soaps back in the bathroom today is another day that i decided not to go to work yesterday i did not go to work neither did i go to work today because i just feel like tired um I've been working for the past like seven or eight days straight. I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, I work five days straight. 
okay? And Tuesday would have been six days. So I was like, you know what? I really need to take a break. I can't kill myself with being there and stuff like that. Cause that's really just ridiculous. Today, yes, Tuesdays has not been good for me for like a month straight. So I said, you know what? Let me take off. Wednesdays have not been good. So I'm gonna take Wednesday off. And then I'll work Thursday all the way to Monday. Like I'll work throughout the weekend or whatever the case may be. Anyways, what I was gonna say was, I'm making Creole shrimp. I'm making steak, my Haitian way that I make it. Um, and I'm making, let me see if I got even more cooking water. Yes, I do. And I got a little bit of um, olive oil. Right but look, why am I cooking a lot in my mouth? No, you gotta go before I start cooking. Like, no. Guys, I'm not even gonna finish cooking. I'm not even gonna start cooking till I close this water. Anyway, I'm making Creole shrimp, white rice, well, white coconut rice. I don't even think I got enough coconut milk, but I'm gonna just try this and see how it goes. I'm making a small pot anyway, so I should taste the coconut. But um, I'm making coconut rice, white rice, um, coconut, um, white rice, Creole shrimp, and I'm making steak. Um, I'm so excited right now because I love shuffling up. I'm about to tear this kitchen down. Let me show y'all my steak. I haven't cooked with y'all in my mouth. I'm not cooking with y'all today because y'all see me make steak a couple times. But this is, guess what? I don't have no fucking line. So, I gotta go watch mine. Wow. I don't have, I didn't cook in so long. I don't even have no line. So, I gotta get that under control now. Let me show I got vinegar on I always have to do it, but I need lime to clean my steak. I don't, I don't stay like that. So, damn. Damn, y'all. I'm going to have to go back outside. So, I'm coming back. I'm going to show y'all my food when I'm finished Good morning, guys. Last night was the best. I was cooking. I was doing everything. My homegirl came over. We had a couple, not even drinks, because I was having the drinks, and she was having non-alcoholic drinks. Right now, I'm about to go get my hair washed and blown out flat iron, because it really looks a mess. And I haven't went to work in, like, two days, because yesterday, I'm like, fuck that. I got to take my hair out. I cannot live like this no more. So... I'm about to get my hair washed and say I'm trying a new Dominican salon anyway, so I'm excited about that. And look at my bald spot, guys. I look, it's glue on my edges, so it looks like I have no edges. I do. But I dead ass have a fucking bald spot. If y'all ever had a bald spot, let me know because I really want to fix this. But I'm like, how do I fix it if I'm going to put a wig on literally in a few days? So, anyway, see y'all. Bye, 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 bye. Hi guys, Clo Clo is back with the ball spot in all. Guys, I have two ball spots. I'm really sad about it. I had to do a side part because I got a ball spot, y'all. I got a little ball spot. Anyways, let me tell y'all what happened to me today. It's very late in today. It's like probably like eight or nine o'clock. Earlier, I had went, y'all seen how I left the house and I went to the hair salon to get my hair done. Why the hell when I left the house, I went to the, this is this salon called Divas to Divas. Um, and I've been looking at their salon actually since last week. Cause I'm like, damn, I know before I get my hair done, I'm gonna need to get my shit washed and set or whatever the case may be. 
So I get over there. I take an Uber. Y'all know I'm not driving or whatever. So I took an Uber. Me and Kayla get there. And I sat in the street. The lady said, oh, yeah. She said something in Spanish. They're like, yeah, we're not doing your hair. Like, you have to wash your hair three, four times at home before we will be able to do your hair. So they did not do my hair. I was really mad about that. I'm like, I don't know if it was because my hair was really coarse or whatever the case may be, but they said no. And so I went to another um, Dominican hair salon, like about five minutes from that location. And it was called Annalena, Annalena Hair Palace. Annalena Hair Palace. And I went there and I got my hair done. It's in the Little Hill area. And they were so nice to me. It was so fancy in it. It was so nice. They didn't complain about my hair. Only thing the lady said was, oh, did you have braids in or something? I was like, yeah, I had my braids in for really like four months because I, I've been just going to the salon, getting my wig installed and just keeping it moving, like not even getting fresh braids because I wanted my hair to grow out. So I told the lady that she understood. She washed my hair and they detangled my hair Blew, blew it out, flat ironed it, and she gave me a trim as well because the back was pretty uneven, and now it's like even. And then she cut, she cut off. Um, she also cut off all the flyaways in the front of my hair. I was supposed to get my wig installed today as well, but I didn't even go to buy my wig. Um, I'm gonna buy my wig tomorrow. I'm gonna rock out my real hair to work tomorrow because it just wouldn't make sense to waste money going to Miami, coming back from Miami, going to Pompano, then coming from Pompano back to Miami, then back to my house. All that is just too much. So I'm gonna just go to work tomorrow like this, beat my face. You know, like I'm a pretty girl. I don't gotta have all that extra shit. I need to learn to love myself because what if it's a time when I cannot afford all that extra fancy shit? What about that? What am I gonna do then? Stop my life? No. It made more sense for me to buy my wig Saturday and get my hair done on... It made more sense for me to buy my wig tomorrow and get my hair done on Saturday. So, anyways, that's all that really happened. I forgot to tell y'all how the food was last night. It was so fucking delicious. Like, that shit really put me to sleep. Especially the shrimp. Let me see. I got some more. Because I'm about to go on a That shrimp... I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all that shrimp really good big clothes the bag. Like had me halfway through the plate knocked out. My friend came over, knocked out, like she like sis, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I can't finish my food because I'm gonna be knocked out. So anyways, that was that. I don't know if I'm gonna cook anything tonight. I don't really have anything to cook. I might go across the street to the supermarket and see what's up but if not i'm really just gonna edit my video because i'm editing my vlog as i go so it's not too much for me but when it is time for me to drop my vlog i'm not like oh it's too much i don't feel like editing all of this shit so yeah that's what i'm gonna do guys um i'm in love with my hair like it just feels so so good it feels so good and i just can't wait to just be in my own vibe and do what i do tomorrow and give me some money Hopefully tomorrow's a good day. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. It better be a good day. And yeah, that's really it. So I'm gonna see y'all later if I cook. If I don't cook, I'm gonna see you guys in the morning before I go by my wig. And then I'm at the wig store, whatever, whatever. So later, guys. CB is back in a building. All right, guys. So right now, I decided that I'm gonna cook um, burgers. It's gonna be a burger night. Um, and the store near my house it was buy one, get one free. So I ended up getting four packs of two burgers. So that's eight burgers. I got me some bread, American cheese, and I got me a shot, shot o'clock. Listen, all right, listen. I gotta take this all at once, but baby. lingering around this house like that's one thing i can't do is the dishes lingering around 
But look, y'all. I'm about to make me some burgers. About to whip it up. I gotta wash my hands because I always wash my hands while I cook. This is my seasoning bowl. Um, I'm not in a mood to do a cook with y'all right now because it's just too much for your girl. Like, it really is. But I'm gonna try to show y'all when I got my burgers on the grease at least. Cause yeah, and today's the first of June, guys. Welcome to the first month of June. If I didn't say that earlier, and it's in a, in a clips that just passed, it's the first month of just the first day of June. May was a horrible month for me. I'm glad that that shit is over, but not worse than April. April was crazy for me. So um, you know, happy June, everybody. My birthday's next month. Mark that on your calendars. Um, it's really grind time. I'm not going to work today because it's Thursday. Thursdays have not been good for me for like the past four months. So I'm not even going to waste my time. I'm going to just really hit it on the head on a Friday. Y'all feel me? Anyway, I'm about to cook. And I'm really feeling myself. Like, I'm really that girl. Like, I'm really a washing stack girl. Like, I really could be a, I, I really could be a clipping girl. I could be in, I could really like turn into a clipping girl. I could really give mm, micro links. Yeah, I could really give sexy. Yeah, you know I'm sexy, I'm the best, yeah. I love a nigga with a check. All my niggas give me. I don't know what the words, but anyway, I'm coming back, guys. I'm catching up with my bae, Jayla Corleone, whatever. I, no, I don't know how to say her last name. Like, I really always have trouble with this. But my girl Jayla, okay? Catching up with her, catching up my girl Shayna Renee. Up my bitch, you know, Richie. I'm not sure all my bitches right now. Like, all my YouTube girlies, Aaliyah Faces, Aaliyah's Face, Kyra Amonique. I'm catching up with all my girls right now while I'm cooking. So, I'm gonna see y'all in a bit. I love y'all. I always say, I love y'all. Like, I'm never about to, like, I'm about to never see y'all again. Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all later. I'm about to keep catching up with my girl. You know, I'm sexy. I'm the best. Yeah. I love a nigga with a check. Afternoon, girls. What's tea? What's popping? Good afternoon from the baddest Chloe B. And now let me stop. Hi, y'all. What's going on? What's tea? What's popping? Listen, today it's really like I feel like it's been like five days later. Like, y'all, this weekend was crazy. Like, it was crazy. Like, I'm trying to get in work mode or whatever and it's just been like really crazy in the nightlife like it's been getting like yeah like i'm not even gonna hold y'all like it's been huh i don't i don't know what to say like because i don't got nothing good to say right now and it's not even about no money like it's really about personal shit like it's just been getting real deal personal and it's just so much trauma with me. Like, I really want to tell y'all what happened, but I don't 
I'm not ready to like really talk about it right now. And I, I don't want to talk about it yet. Even though like people that was there see what happened and my friends, of course, they know what happened and shit. Cause you know, I literally went to work Sunday and craziest thing happened. I have not been to work since Sunday, today's Wednesday. And I'm not, I'm thinking about like not even working at my regular club because I'm so mad about what happened y'all. Like, I gotta like, I wanna do a story time, like a catch up type of video, but really like fill y'all into shit that been happening in my fucking life because listen, it's been getting, it's been messy. And when I could really tell the truth about certain shit, y'all really gonna know like what's good. Like, cause I feel like right now I cannot really be truthful cause people watching my business and you know, like, I feel like I can't be truthful cause of that. Cause I'm still like, a lot of shit is still in the works. Y'all feel me? Like, you know, like a lot of shit is just not set in stone yet. So I don't even want to say too much, but like, it's been going down in close friends. Like, close friends really know what's going on. Like, close friends, like, they really know. Like, they really know what's going on. Like, they really, like, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like, I really want to get self-control. Like, a lot of shit that's been happening in my life, people is thinking, oh, I have, like, this anger problem. I'm such an angry person. And all type of shit. And it's just, like, crazy because it's not even that I'm no angry person like I'm just really a no-nonsense bitch and I don't play like I really don't like if something make me feel the way I'm I'm gonna speak up about it like I'm not staying quiet and I'm sorry y'all can only see my head because I'm doing my eyebrows I'm literally getting ready for work I don't know if I'm gonna go to work have a drink and go to another club but I'm trying to figure out my motion right now that's what I've got to do right now because it's just too much going on shorty like, guys, I heard my club. Matter of fact, I don't even want to say that because these bitches be fucking stalkers. These bitches be stalkers. Next thing you know, they go send this video to management. Child, like, I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. But let me tell you something, right? So I was at work or whatever, and me and my, um, me and one of my, one of the girls I'm cool with, we kind of had like a little disagreement or whatever, like, not even a disagreement, like, we were, it was like, I was trying to get in a section or whatever, and um, the people was acting like they wanted me in a section, and they was acting like it was up to my friend. But you know, like, sometimes there is shady customers, like, they will really not want you in a section, but they're not going to tell you. They're going to make it seem like it's the other person that, like, the other girls that don't want you to come or whatever. And it's fine, because people can spend their money however they want to spend it. Like, I cannot tell nobody how to act spend their money feel me people is entitled to spend their money these people can spend their money however they want to on whoever they want to that don't got nothing to do with me but like i just feel like my friend was being shady as fuck so we had like a little like disagreement or whatever so we was talking in the back about what happened and when we was talking about what happened it was other bitches around and the other girls like you know, of course, they had their two cents to put in the conversation, which is very unnecessary. And that's another reason why I'm saying, like, going forward, I don't care if I was cordial with somebody and it was on some, hey, how you doing, babe, type of vibe. It's none of that no more. Like, I'm not talking to bitches. Rip me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. Like, if you're not my main friends and I got, like, five out here, it ain't no high. It ain't none of that. Because, like... One thing I peep about these bitches when it, well, cause me and my friend, we ended up resolving the problem, just talking. But the things that the other girls were saying, like thinking I'm not gonna sit back and decipher what they really meant. I just, I was thinking about it that whole night. And I, t I told one of them in their face, like, yeah, you? Like, y'all, I cannot wait to give y'all update when I go to work, come back, let y'all know what's going on. Cause it's been so much tea, like, I'm telling y'all, like, when I could do a story time, y'all really gonna know what's going on. Cause, like, my life is really a fucking movie. And it's like, I feel like I kind of embarrass myself. So, not really, but I just hate dealing with the reality and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? In a moment, like, it's just, you're not even thinking it's about to go left. 
But now I was like, I gotta <laughs> deal with the reality of things. And don't worry y'all, soon I'm gonna tell y'all everything that happened, I promise y'all. Like, I'm gonna do a story time update. I'm gonna really tell y'all, but right now I just cannot tell y'all. Like, I cannot, I cannot, I can't, I can't. But I'm gonna tell y'all soon, 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 soon. Cause I really wanna tell y'all, cause y'all always have y'all opinion. I just don't want to be messy, but I really do want to tell y'all. So, I'm going to figure out how I could do it. I don't know. Or well, I'll probably do a subscribers-only video or members-only video and tell y'all the story time. But let me finish my makeup. When I finish my makeup, I'm going to come back. Um, I'm currently flopping on my friends right now because they think we're going out to eat. I do not want to go anywhere. Like, I don't even want to go to work. Um, I, I feel so bad. I flopped on them three days in a row. Three days in a row, like they, they really think that I don't, I'm not their real friend. Anyways, I'm coming back, guys. Hey guys, the angle looks a little funny, but um, I am back from work. I know I said I was gonna come to the camera after I finished my makeup and everything, but I just could not do it. Like I was really tired. So I try to come in the house. I left work early actually. And I was thinking like, okay, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go to bed or whatever the case may be. But when I got home, I really could not sleep. Like, y'all, I feel like I just cannot sleep. Like, let me put this on the floor because I wanna be barefoot right now. But yeah, like I really like could not sleep. I was just up on my phone playing games and I'm like, oh my God, I gotta work a lot. And this whole not sleeping thing when it's time to go to bed, I need to really like teach myself some type of discipline. I don't want to take anything like NyQuil, melatonin. I don't want to invite anything like that. Hold on up, y'all. Let me get my cup because I want to drink something. I had one to get my cup. I don't want to invite any like substances in my life like melatonin or anything like that to help me go to sleep when it's bedtime because... I'm so scared to like ever like have any type of addiction to anything. So I'm like, no, definitely don't want to do that. Even though that sounds crazy, I don't want to continuously keep doing something like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. So I'm like, I'm going to just have to force myself to go to bed. Like, I don't know what the hell to do to make myself fall asleep, y'all. But anyways, tonight was really bad. Um, today's Wednesday. I think it was the 8th. Well, now it's Thursday because it's past midnight, but Wednesday was just so bad and I'm not even mad about it because I don't work Wednesdays at this certain club. So just the fact that I even went, I pat myself on the back, like I pat myself on the back because I'm like, okay, I tried something that I don't normally do, but sometimes you really got to stick with what you know. So I'm like, okay, lesson learned. So I'm just pretty much like, okay. I'm going to take that L, but that's fine because I'm going to make sure I take some wins for the rest of this week. Um, I'm just mad that I'm still up. Like, it's like 6 in the morning. Like, the sun is like that. I started to come up. Last night, I had a hard time sleeping because I couldn't find my bonnet, so I had to sleep with my hair out. Tonight, I'm like, okay, I got my bonnet and everything, so I should put that on. I literally went, I took me a shower, and I used this. Let me show you guys. Castle soap whatever you however you say it I, put, I use that to just tire myself out i really wish i had some eucalyptus oil or lavender oil or something and a candle to just put that scent in my room and spray my sheets i gotta go to bath and body works because when it's time for bed i need to start going to bed like for real so anyway tonight i had an encounter with a football player and he was so rude to me I it was a section it was like a, a section that he was in with his friends and they were celebrating or whatever and I wasn't even really trying to be thirsty or nothing but all the workers in the club kept telling me like go over there like you know like that person's a football player da, 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 da. so I'm like okay cool I went up there and before I walked really into the section, 
I was kind of like at the edge of the section and I was talking to one of the girls and she was like, babe, come here. So to get to her, I had to pass the guy, which is the football player. So I was like, excuse me. And then he put his hands on my waist like this. But the way he did it, like, I felt like it was really aggressive. And I don't want any person putting their hands on me in a way that makes me feel uncomfortable. Like even doing this, like working in the club, a lot of girls are like allow stuff like that. But me personally, I'm not on that and I don't let people do shit like that to me. So I'm like, why are you touching me like that? Like, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, when I'm uncomfortable, like all that professional, you know, club worker bullshit, whatever, you just need the money, you just be nice and deal with it. I'm not on that. Once somebody makes me feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna remove myself. If I could remove myself nicely if i can't remove myself nicely i'm gonna tear your ass up and that situation clearly is a dude so it was i couldn't you know it's a different situation so he like oh i was trying to stop you i'm like oh, okay i was like you was holding me really tight so i was like what the heck or whatever the guy started getting so nasty he like oh you're not even a pretty girl da -da 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 -da. like you're not even a baddie this and that like he was just saying the craziest things to me and People that's in my personal life know right now I'm really like, I wasn't going to say nothing about this because I really was not supposed to say anything, but I'm in the process of about to get my body done. And it's like in that process, I've been feeling so insecure about my body, like my butt and stuff like that. And it's like working in the strip club, a lot of these girls have these large, gigantic asses. And that's what people want to see. Me, however, I'm not getting my body done like that. Like, I just want to be contoured. So, like, once he said that, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I know he's making fun of the fact that I'm smaller. But when I look what he had in the section, I'm like, trash. Trash. Except for my friend. Because my friend is a baddie. But I'm just like, okay, trash. It, like, it wasn't really nothing. Mm, not impressed. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. So, I was like, all right, thank you. When he insulted me, I was like, thank you. And I had got down or whatever. Would y'all believe this guy went and called a manager? Like, he like, oh, I'm about to make an example out of you. Thinking, like, the manager or security was going to embarrass me or something. But what people got to understand is when you're locked in and people know you don't start drama, nobody's going to come and embarrass me nowhere. Nobody's going to come and make me look dumb or make me look crazy because you look like you're crazy because you call a manager to get a girl out of a section, but the girl's not even in the section anymore. And when I say the girl, I mean me. I wasn't really out of the section. I'm like, um, okay. Like, like what? Manager come, he just like, I'm just like, because it's just stupid. Like, niggas like that, and I'm telling y'all, I'm always getting into it with football players. Like, this is not even the first time at this, like, like just in clubs I've been going to, period. I'm always getting into it with football players. Like, they're really on my shit list. Like, I don't like them. Only football player in Miami that I really could say is so nice is um this one i don't even want to say his name because i don't even know if that would be okay but he be coming to the club and he showed love to everybody he don't even act like he's famous or nothing he's a really nice guy but these athletes be having it out like i hate them the retired one the coaches all of them i fucking hate them anyway that made me feel so like it just really fucked with me because people don't understand like what sometimes somebody's going through and the things that they can say to really just hurt you or like just try to pierce your self-esteem but i'm like you know what i'm not even gonna worry about it it's whatever that's a miserable ass nigga and it's like the girl i was working with didn't even go over there so that should have been a red flag from the jump anyway for me like she was just like oh the um the guy we doing too much which referring to the football player and when i got over there i'm like yep nigga doing too fucking much so anyway that was my little story time to tell y'all about my day because haven't filled y'all into no tea like that like Routine. So I'm about to go to sleep. Um, I love it. Let me moisturize my face. Cause right now, my birthday coming up. I really cannot afford to have bad skin on my birthday. Cause like this month, my face broke out. I had two pimples on my face. I didn't even pick them because I was so scared that they was gonna leave a mark on my face. But um, all right, y'all. I'm gonna see you guys when I wake up and when I go to work. Cause I'm supposed to be getting a pedicure and a manicure tomorrow because i've been looking crazy like i'm so happy to have my hair done i'm starting to like feel like myself again i have so much things i really gotta handle to feel like myself again like i feel like i'm literally restarting my life like 
after that jail shit, I really gotta restart everything. Um, I love you guys. Um, I'm gonna see y'all soon. I might just pull up and flex on my cool.